All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Yashallah. First off, want to say, Kohala to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, Barakata. Um, that means all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world even called God in the name of, also our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, who the world even called Jesus Christ. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will will. Peace and blessings also to the rest of the whole elected censor. I can start with the men of our nation that's making a bison live a sacrifice for our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, uh, to teach and to do so, and also grind up thy loins, being men heads of our nation, as the Lord Yahweh require of us. Uh, shout out to the Aqua, the women and sisters of our nation as well, as of the election of Israel at that. That I want to say shalom, Mr. Brother Taziar from the Great Millstone Camp out of Cleveland, Ohio. Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson to you Israelites, you true biblical Hebrew Israelites, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Hispanics, and really basically on this topic of the world in general, whether you're Israelite or heathen or whatever. Um, Cash the societies is popping up all over the world because a part of the new world order that's coming, a part of that is a cashless society. They're going to suffer you to take a RFID microchip. Before I get into these articles, I got two articles. I'm going to pull up the image of the RFID microchip or the NSC chip that they're going to try to suffer to make all people take. You've probably seen countless videos of it before through the spirit for years now. This image that you see before you is the RFID microchip. This is the new currency that's going to take place. It's going to be a chip. It's going to have your medical your license, gun license, etc., all that. And pretty much everyone knows about it by now. You should not take it. And I'm going to go into that as far as the scriptures later on. So that's the RFID microchip that you see before you. So I'm about to go into these articles. And before I, I will put the links in this, uh, to these actual articles inside the description box below within this video. So I'm going to just go back to these articles. Because you got these cash and societies that's going to take place throughout all the whole world. You see them in India, you see them um, in China, um, and as you see, uh, all over the place. But this is one in, Z in Zimbabwe, now a truly cashless society. It's a monetary system the world over, including in, Zim in Zimbabwe, over has, has undergone a sea of change in the past century. From barter trade, a world without money, there have been many other means of exchange, such as Asian culture, coins and notes, electronic transactions, mobile payments, and now virtual virtual currency. Uh, fire currency, plastic money, and negotiable instruments are all creations of the financial services sector and innovation that have taken global markets by storm. Some countries are now slowly but surely moving away from cash. Indeed, some want drastic changes such as outlawing the use of cash. It's going to be, and I'm using this aspect that whatever country, wherever you are, it's going to be pretty much useless to have cash. You know, now we do still use, quote unquote, um, your debit cards, credit cards, however you want to be, which it all has what? The chip. It has a chip, a radio frequency chip or sticker within any, just like we have it in our phones. You know what I'm saying? Um, that you scan and use, you scan and swipe with now, but eventually they're going to be done away with that, and they're going to actually go with as far as putting a microchip within your hand, and don't and don't be deceived. Thousands of people throughout the world already have this, mainly those that's in higher stature, um, celebrities, etc. Been had the chip, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to force this technology upon everyone. But first, they starting with the devices as far as hard cash. Um, you know, to get people pretty much grooming you and, and training you for the RFID technology. Some countries are now slowly but surely moving away from cash. Indeed, some want drastic changes such as outlawing the use of cash. It may seem bizarre, but other countries are already implementing that in a big way. So that shows you here in the Zimbabwe article. Like I said, I'll put this link in the description box and I'll jump over to in Britain, Great Britain, over there in Europe. Uh, this is from the Guardian. It said, cash this Britain over 55s and low earners at risk of being left behind. Um, study warrants banks to adapt offering to help cus consumers to use mobile or online banking. With um, Britons increasingly turning to digital payments, consumers aged over 55 and those on low incomes risk being left behind by banks according to new research. And the reason I said that majority of people that have less income 
Um, they usually tend to use cash much more. It's more convenient and they're not having constant, consistently large amounts of money coming weekly or bi-weekly. That's pretty much why they go into that. So nine times out of 10, they're not really uh, buying or purchasing anything pretty much of, of, of a high expense. So they pretty much use cash. That's all it goes into. The findings come in the wake of a major report earlier this month that says more than 8 million UK adults will struggle to cope in the cashless society. You know what I'm saying? And of course it's going to be. Because we suffer you not to take that chip. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be the temptation that you have to take, brothers and sisters, that's that's um, woke to the fact that you're is like walking in fear the most high. You got to depend on the Lord. You have Bashi Masha to provide for you. So we're not going to take that RFI, Michael Chip, Lord willing. According to the survey, of 3,000 consumers, three quarters of those age 55 plus never use mobile banking apps, while the figure for low income earners was 57%. In addition, in those in both these categories, one in four 26% of those surveys said they never use online banking, an online banking computer. But at the same time, the research from management consulting companies, um, Accenture, found that only 10% of UK consumers visit bank branches at least once a week, failing to 7% of the people aged over 55. With banks increasingly focusing on their digital platforms, it is important for them to adapt their offerings to ensure certain groups of consumers are not left behind in digital revolution. Peter Kirk, manager, managing director of financial services at Accenture, our researcher shows that low income earners and those aged over 55 are using branches less but they're not using digital channels either. However, a survey indicate many of these people would like some help with using mobile or online banking when it came to and branching services that would appeal to them. 58 over 55% of low income earners will find branch education sessions appealing to help them improve their digital skills. With bank branches and ATMs closing, a report published by the Access to Cash Review earlier this month said companies and, and organizations providing essential services could be required to ensure that consumers can continue to pay with notes and coins. Um, the review found that cash is still king across large parts of the UK economy, with them more 80% of the people in Britain say they pay taxi drivers, newspaper sellers, window cleaners, and gardeners with those notes and coins. The report earns Warned warn the country cash infrastructure of the cost mm, is on the verge of collapse because it is declining profitability and said the government, regulators, and banks all need to take action. The review is funded by the Cash Machine Network link, but was independent from it. Um, reports uh, a th author said the UK was not ready to go cashless and that despite the runaway growth of contactless mobile payments. A significant number of people, about 2.2 million, were using cash for all their day-to-day -day transactions. So you have a lot of people that are still stuck on the cash, but they're gonna move on. It's a whole world type of thing. This thing, this 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 cash, this thing is not just gonna be pushed on America. It's gonna be pushed throughout the whole world, just like technology is all over the world. All this is a part of the new world order, this B system that, that are trying to take place. But ultimately, you're just here for the major temptation of you Israelites, first of all, you know what I'm saying? That it is about the elect. I will also put this link in the description box as well. So uh, I'm gonna just go get a couple of scriptures, referencing the RFID microchip. Let me pull up the image of that RFID microchip, or it may say NFC chip, net frequency chip um, as well. They gonna have uh, RFID um, stickers. You can look up those as well. Those will be placed on vehicles as well. So a lot of this radio frequency identification, pretty much um, tracking systems, all these, all these things is going to be um, pushed upon Earth, man. This is going to be the end all be all. This is going to be the new cash currency. They're going to be done away with plastic cards soon, right after they're done with cash. So that's what the RFID microchip looks like. As you see before, your little chip about the size of a grain of rice. You suffer that you do not take it at all whatsoever, or you will be destroyed by the Lord himself, which that leads me to the scriptures. Through the Spirit and probably how about you know, shut up. So like you.
So I'm going to go to the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter. This is future prophecy. And we're living in, into, them, into these days now. That's why I say you have thousands and hundreds of people that already have this radio identification technology within themselves where they don't do cash day to day. You can open up your door. You can start up your car with it. It's, it's going to be, it ain't just about paying and buying things. You don't, you're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to get into your car, drive, you know what I'm saying, start up your car, etc. You know what I'm saying? This is Revelation chapter 13. Um, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And that image of the beast is talking about this system. You know what I'm saying? The original beast goes back to the Roman Empire. This is just a blueprint, but this is the modern beast is going into the, the system that they're trying to start now. NATO, the EU, the whole world pretty much. New world order. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. The image of the beast is pretty much Esau's power structure and ultimately is leading to the new world order. So if you don't worship this new world order, etc., you're going to be suffered with death. They're going to tempt you with death. The Lord is going to save many. Some is going to die for the witness of Yahweh Bashim which I'm going to bring forth as well, collectively. Um, worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, and he calls of all. So everyone is going to be caused, both small and great, rich and poor. So no matter whatever, what kind of status you have in this in this world, whatever you homeless or you just an average day citizen living day to day, etc. Upper class, middle class, lower class, however you want to class yourself, rich and poor, free and bond, whether you're incarcerated or you quote unquote free to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word mark goes to karagma, means an incision, something that's engraved in you. That's the um, yes, yeah, the Greek word, Greek word karagma, means it's going to be an injection, an incision within your flesh. So you're going to have an actual microchip. The images that I saw you injected inside your right hand or your forehead. Maybe it's your BTTUs. That's where your most Warmth blood flow goes at is either in your forehead or in your male, pretty much main dominant hand, right or left. But wherever you take the chip, you get it in your forearm, your thigh, etc. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be continually destroyed by the Lord, either by nuclear fire or by you know the Lord Himself and His angels, etc. If you take it. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That mark. It's talking about the RFID microchip and that no man might buy or sell once again. So you don't have an RFID chip, you're not going to be able to buy or sell soon. This is when they make it mandatory because people are still buying and selling with cash. They're also buying and selling with credit card, debit card, with your phone, etc. Say he have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you must have the mark. The mark is the chip. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell and say you have that chip. Here is wisdom. Let him have the understanding and count the number of the beast for it, the number of men. And his number is 600, 3, 4, and 6. You know what I'm saying? So that goes into the barcode system, things of that nature. So that's talking about the chip that is recognized in Revelation 13, chapter, verse 15. You can really start at 14 on down. I just wanted to get to the point. That's why I went to Revelation 15 on down, which is the RFID microchip. Now we'll go to the judgment of it if you take it. I'm going to stay in the book of Revelations, the 14th chapter, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man will worship the beast and his image, new world order, this is this pretty much you making Esau, Edom, mankind, your God, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, or in his hand, because here it don't say in particular what hand or what spot. It says receive his mark, which is the, the, mark, the mark of the beast. In his forehead or in his hand, the saints shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, not man, or who do call the God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his, who God's indignation, which means righteous anger. And he should be tormented with fire, brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. So there's no repentance from it. Now you have these false teachers, prophets, whoever, telling you can take it, you can take the chip and you can take it out. Once you take that chip, that's your ass. Now, you can run away with it. You can follow traditions of man or follow whatever your teacher tell you to do. But you're going to be consumed and destroyed with them. Mainly, if you especially here in America. Because America is going to be shot upon with nuclear missiles, fire, and brimstone. Because America is known as Babylon the Great. 
according to the scriptures. So you're going to be tormented with fire in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. That Lamb is talking about Yahweh Shah, who the world enemy called Jesus Christ. So when Yahweh Shah returns, make his second return, a lot of you people is going to be left behind. You're not going to be redeemed. You're not going to be beamed up and saved because you took the R fighting market chip. You want to go with the cares of fairs and worship this beast, this image. You chose this, this technology over the Lord, man. He's going to destroy you. And the smoke of the torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. And whosoever worship the beast in his image. So you, you have to, you, for you to worship the beast in his image, you have to get the mark. It's, e it's either or. Whosoever received the mark of his name. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be destroyed with fire and brimstone in the presence of the angels. That's the judgment if you take this RFID microchip. No technology, nothing of this world is going to be worth that destruction that's going to come amongst you if you take this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Now let me go. Because um, I said some, some is going to die for the witness and through the faith. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Yahweh Shah. Here he say Jesus. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Yahweh Shah, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah and Mashiach a thousand years. So you're going to be presented with death. I got that in Revelation 13, was that 15? Where it say, whosoever shall not worship the image in his beast shall be killed. Now you have plenty of people that's going to die in their faith uh, for the witness of Yahweh Shah, man. So they're going to be beheaded. Yes, they have guillotines here in these concentration camps, FEMA camps, etc. But people that's not going to take the chip, that's refused to, a lot of us will die through the spirit for, for, through, for our faith. And you're going to reign with the Lord a thousand years. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, the children of Israel. Because repentance and salvation is mainly only for you. You see what I'm saying? So you have to refuse not to take this technology, man. But a lot of us is going to die, man. For the witness of Yahweh Bashim al the mass majority is going to be redeemed. You know what I'm saying? Through the Spirit. Um, matter of fact, let me go back. I'm going to go to... Uh, let me go back because you're going. It speaks about the false prophets. You have people out here telling you that the RFID microchip is Christianity, philosophies, you know, all this, all this madness, man. The seizure brochure, you know, what I'm saying imagery, sin, you know, what I'm saying it's actually a physical chip. This Revelation 19, and but they prophesize in the scriptures. This Revelation 19 and 20, all these scriptures in the book of Revelations. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, which deceived them that have received the mark of the beast, right? So what is that false prophet, Esau, Edom? Because what? Through this technology, by taking that RFID microchip, you're going to have people that's paralyzed. They're going to use that technology of the mar or the, or the RFID microchip to make someone paralyzed to walk. They're going to they're gonna give people, they, people that's blind their sight back. People that can't hear, they're going to receive their hearing back. That's how they're going to... Uh, through the technology they have there, that's that's the miracles that they're gonna do, man. You know what I'm saying? People with different elements, you know, handicap, they're gonna maybe heal them through this technology, man. Giving people robot hands, all type of stuff, man. You know, it looks real with skin and everything, but you gotta take the chip to receive those things. And people, a lot of people are gonna take it. They're gonna be deceived. And the beast was taken with them, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. With which he deceived them that they had received the mark of the beast. What is deceived? You know what I'm saying? Pretty much you think you're doing it for your benefit when really it's for your destruction. Because these heads, at least these devils, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, all of them. They, 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 the Bushes, they know that this is the mark of the beast, man. And them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So that shows you that people that worship this beast in his image and take that chip is going to perish and die with nuclear fire, fire and brimstone, and the fire that comes from the chariots, so-called UFOs, which is the chariots and angels of Yahweh Bashim al Rashad, or who, who people call God. So you're going to have a lot of people, false prophets, deceiving people. And you're going to have people doing miracles, healing people, getting people uh, fresh, um... Well, they call that uh, robotic legs, all type of stuff, getting people their sight back, 
all type of stuff, curing people health all through this technology, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people's gonna be deceived and they're gonna take it and be destroyed, man. But it ain't gonna be no excuse because the Lord's raising up his prophets, giving you people warning of these things to come. So, like I said, these cash the societies is popping up all over the place through the spirit and power held by Shema Shah. The Lord willingness was edifying. Damn it. Lord willingness lesson was edifying. With that, I want to say, call Hello Allah to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukaka Dash, Rakatam, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who who will. Peace and blessings, you know, to those who, you know, gonna die for the witness of Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, and those that's gonna have faith and dirt to the end. With that, I wanna say Shalom.